YouTube, welcome back to Plan Build Play. In one of my last videos, I did some testing on some solar panels, and today I'm going to be installing them. So there's a lot of installation options out there, but for me, I'm going to be making my own mounts out of some uh, one-inch angle aluminum. So after deciding on a single angle mount, here's the design I came up with, and here's one of the uh, frame supports for it. This is designed to bolt into two ceiling rafters, so it's 35 inches across. And then it will fit a 20 inch by 40 inch panel. And there's going to be two rails that bolt into the corners on each side. And that will fit the mounting points of the solar panels. After that, it just has angle cuts where it needs it. And then these use um, quarter by 20, uh, three quarters inch bolts. So unfortunately, after I bought some more panels, I ended up changing the dimensions and I needed to fit a 25 by 30 inch panel, a 36 inch panel. So now I need to bolt on this extra angle piece because the panels are going to be much larger. And then that will install the rails the same design as the first, first one. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show, show this one fully built as well just to see the difference between the, the panel options and the dimensions. Now I have all eight supports assembled, as well as the angles for uh, mounting the panels. Uh, so this is going to actually hold 10 solar panels. These are 100 watt uh, HQST panels. And then to install these, I'm just using some carriage bolts and some uh, some nuts, and then on the, the end of the panel it's going to be using uh, nylon lock nuts. So these have support, or so these have holes drilled already, and it's ready to install just using the, uh, the nuts and bolts here. Now I just have to drag this onto the workshop roof and start bolting it down. Now I have the mount on the roof and set up where I'm going to install it. I just have to bolt it in place. To do that, I'm using my Milwaukee cordless drill and impact driver, as well as some carriage bolts. These are 3 8 inch diameter, uh, three and a half inch long bolts, and some wa washers on top. Since my roof isn't exactly flat, I also put these spacers in. These are going to go underneath each of the, uh, the mounting base plates. Now I finished installing the rest of the spacers as well as bolting the, the mount in place. To do that I just added a couple bolts on top of the spacer and then bolted it to the, uh, the base plate of the mount. And I did that for each of the supports and now I've got my panels installed as well just using a, a couple 
carriage bolts right in each of the uh, the corners. After that, just wire it up to your uh, charge controller, and you're all set. Alright, so here's how the final product turned out. Uh, this is the first panel mount I built for the 20 inch by 40 inch panels. And then when I got some extra panels, these are 25 by 36 inches using the same support mounts and just making a taller mount. Eventually I'm going to move the 20 by 40 inches over to this third mount that I built and then convert it over convert that first mount over to uh, to this kind of panel. So just one thing to keep in mind is if you have multiple mounts lined up like this is the spacing between them. Uh, you don't want shadows from the first mount going on to the panels of the second one. So just check your angles and your measurements when you, before you install these. Make sure you have enough space between them. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.